Hey, welcome back. This is week nine of the 12 week minor key challenge. And today we're looking at C sharp minor. See if you can figure out its relative major key and therefore its key signature in the time it takes me to remind you to like this video and show you the title card. Ready? We'll say it at the same time. One, two, three, E major. That's what you said, right? E major is three half steps above C sharp minor, so they share a key signature with four sharps. F, C, G, and D sharp.
when you practice your scales and arpeggios, notice what your wrists are doing. They really have a wide range of motion up and down, even while keeping your fingers touching the keys. And this kind of flexibility allows us to stay relaxed and eventually play faster and smoother. The general rule is the wrist is lowest as you play the thumb, and then it gets higher towards the pinky. So watch an experiment with that this week. That was your tip for the week, so let's move on to the repertoire. And what would C-sharp minor be without the Moonlight Sonata? That's it for C sharp minor. We've got three more minor keys to go, and next week we'll begin an eight week ear training series. So make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.